Hey everyone, welcome back to LimeTube. Today I'm going to do an unboxing video and also a setup video of the Ledger Nano X. Quick side note, how cool is my hat? If you know what NFT this relates to, please leave it in the comments. If you could also please like, comment and subscribe to my channel, it will be very much appreciated. Now let's get back to the video. I purchased the Nano X, which is a cold storage wallet for crypto and also for NFTs. I purchased this because I wanted to keep my crypto secure. I picked the Nano X over the Nano S as it's the more premium version and allows you to have up to 100 apps, whereas the Nano S has only five apps. So let's unbox the Ledger Nano X. So I'll give you a first look of how it comes packaged. Just to remind you, always purchase from the official website, which is ledger.com. So it just comes out like so, a bit of dust, but as you can see the box is in a nice presentable manner. Here you get a little opening message, start your crypto journey securely with Ledger Live. And here is the ledger. So it really just looks like a memory stick. It says Vires in numeris, Vires in numeris, which I believe is strength in numbers. And it's still got um, a cover over the top and there's two buttons, one here and one here. So as you can see, it's just turned on. Welcome to Ledger Nano X. Press the right button to continue. Download Ledger Live at ledger.com forward slash start, then press right. So I'll go and do that now. I'm over at the ledger.com forward slash start website. Getting started, just received your device. Follow these four steps to get started. Step one, get Ledger Live. So download Ledger Live, I'm on Windows. Step two, choose a pin code and write down your recovery phrase. Your 24 word recovery phrase is the only backup of your private key. Never share it with anyone, store it in a secure place. So just standard install, run Ledger Live. So welcome to Ledger, safely manage your crypto from your computer, get started, terms and service and privacy policy. Make sure you have a read of this. It is very important that you do before agreeing. Once you have reviewed it, just check the box and enter Ledger app. And I have the Nano X. So first time using Nano X, set up a new Nano X. Basics, access your crypto. Your crypto assets are stored on the blockchain. You need a private key to access and manage them. Own your private key. Your private key is stored within your Nano. You must be the only one to own it to be in control of your money. Stay offline. Your Nano works as a cold storage wallet. This means that it never exposes your private key online, even when using the app validate transactions ledger live allows you to buy sell manage exchange and earn crypto while remaining protected you will validate every crypto transaction with your nano let's set up your nano we'll start by setting up your nano security the best way to get you started plan 30 minutes and take your time grab a pen to write with stay alone and choose a safe and quiet environment I'm not alone because you guys are here with me, but I will stop the videos 
at the necessary points where I am entering my own code in private. OK, I'm ready. Please be careful. Make sure you follow the instructions on this app at every step of the process. Turn on Nano. Connect your device to your computer with the USB cable. Browse. Learn how to interact with your device by reading the on-screen instructions. Select Setup as New Device. Press both buttons simultaneously to validate the selection. Follow instructions. Come back here to follow instructions on your PIN code. So I just got to the part in the app where it said to plug this in with a USB cable, but I've not actually looked at the rest of the contents. So within here, there's a get it start. There's a a USB cable and a getting started ledger.com start leaflet. And I believe in here is also a little keychain to attach to your wallet. So in here is recovery sheet. There's one, two, three of them. So these should all be blank as they are here. And it's for you to write down your recovery phrase and have it stored somewhere safely, whether you have a vault or a locked storage or somewhere where you know no one else can access. Keep this hidden from anyone and everyone. This is the only thing protecting your crypto. And then a leaflet of getting started, use, care and regulatory statement. And then some stickers. I don't know if you can see the top ones. They're in white. Pretty cool. I don't know if I'll stick them anywhere, but I may do. So I'm going to pause the video here and connect my Nano to my laptop. So I've now plugged in my Ledger to my computer um, and it's also charging, which you can tell by this sign in the top right hand corner. To navigate, um, there's the right and left button, and as you can guess, left is to go left or backwards, and right is to go forwards or right. So, just going to click right, press left or right buttons to browse through menus and lists, press both buttons to validate a selection, hold both buttons anytime to access control center to power off and more. Start Ledger Live to get assistance during setup. Set up as new device, which is what I want to do. So I'm going to press both to validate. Choose PIN code of four to eight digits. So on the Ledger Live app, it says follow instructions. Come back here to follow instructions on your PIN code. PIN code. Your PIN code is the first layer of security. It physically secures access to your phys private key and your nano, your pin code must be four to eight digits long. I understand, and you've got to check this box. I understand that I must choose my pin code myself and keep it private. Set up pin code. Choose pin code. Press the left or right buttons to change digits. Press both buttons to validate a digit. Select tick to confirm your pin code and select X to erase a digit. Confirm PIN code. Enter your PIN code again to confirm it. If I click both, I have to enter a PIN code. So as you can see, left means down, right means up. So I'm going to pause the video here. I just sent in my PIN code and I've got this little message come up. Battery temperature too high for charging. That's not an issue, but I have this. Okay, if this keeps coming up, it might be an issue, but the next step is to write down your recovery phrase. So once again, I'm going to pause the video here and write down my recovery phase. The battery temperature too high for charging is still showing, which does surprise me because it's not really that high in temperature. And um, I have written down my 24 word recovery phrase. Press left to verify your 24 words. Press both buttons to continue. Now I have to confirm my recovery phrase. To confirm your recovery phrase, you have to go through all 24 words and press enter when 
the first word shows up and then press enter when the second word shows up and so on up until you've got through all 24 words. So I'm just going to pause the video once again and do that now. I've completed confirming my recovery phrase and now it says your device is ready. You can access the dashboard and install apps. And on here it says use manager in Ledger Live to install apps and more. So I'll now go back to my laptop to show you how to install apps. So back to the Ledger Live app, it says to choose your pin code and confirm pin code, which I have done. Recovery phrase. Your recovery phrase is a secret list of 24 words that backs up your private keys. Your nano generates a unique recovery phrase. Ledger does not keep a copy of it. I understand that if I lose this recovery phrase, I will not be able to access my crypto in case I lose access to my nano. Whatever you do, make sure you have this recovery phrase put away somewhere secure that you won't lose it and also have a backup of this somewhere else as well. So make sure you have it locked away in more than one place just in case one of your recovery phrase papers gets lost or damaged. If you lose your recovery phrase, you lose access to your crypto. Once you have written it down and you're confident you won't lose your recovery phrase, um, check the agreement and click recovery phrase. So take your recovery sheet, grab a blank recovery sheet included with your nano. Please reach out to Ledger support if the recovery sheet did not come blank. One thing to note here, if you didn't receive three blank sheets, then your nano has potentially been tampered with. You should always look out for any kind of tampering on the device when it arrives and check all contents is there as expected. Write down 24 words. Write word one displayed on your nano in position one of your recovery sheet. Then press write on your nano to display word two and write it down in position two. Repeat the process for all words while carefully respecting the order and spelling. Press left on your nano to check for any mistakes. Confirm your recovery phrase. Scroll through the words until you find word one by pressing the right button. Validate by pressing both buttons. Repeat for all words. So there's a little image here um, showing you how to go through and confirm a word. So you keep pressing right until the right word comes up and then when it does you just press both buttons to validate it and then confirm for the next word the exact same process until all 24 words have been confirmed and entered hide your recovery phrase your recovery phrase is your last chance to access your crypto if you cannot use your nano you must keep it in a safe place enter these words on a hard wallet only not on computers or smartphones. So the reason why they say not on computers or smartphones is because they have access to the internet. If someone hacks into your smartphones or um, computer, then they can get your 24 keyword phrase. It's always best to write it down and keep it safe somewhere where you cannot establish an internet connection with for hackers to get access to the phrase. Never share your 24 words with anyone, not even with Ledger. This is basically just saying if you share this, you're going to lose your crypto. Obviously, you may not lose the crypto if the person you give it to, you can trust. One thing which is good to do is probably write it in your will where you have stored this recovery phrase and how to access the recovery phrase if it's in a locked storage vault or something like that just so a member of your family can access your crypto if the worst happens to you and there's a little learn how to hide it advice where should i keep my recovery phrase never enter it on a computer smartphone or any other device don't take a picture of it never share your 24 words with anyone always store in a secure place out of sight ledger will never ask for your recovery phrase if any person or application asks for it, assume it is a scam. Okay, I'm done. Now, game on.
Answer three simple questions to avoid common misconceptions about your hardware wallet. Let's take the quiz. I hope I don't get any wrong. As a Ledger user, my crypto is stored on my Nano or on the blockchain. I believe it's stored on the blockchain. What is stored on your Nano is the private key for you to transfer funds from your public address to another address. I'm going to click on on the blockchain and let's see if we get it right or not. Congrats. Your crypto is always stored on the blockchain. Your hardware wallet only holds your private key, which gives you access to your crypto. If my recovery phrase is no longer secure or private, no problem. Ledger can send me a copy. My crypto is no longer safe and I need to transfer them to a secure place. It is going to be the latter one because someone else has access to your account and can transfer it if you don't move it first. Congrats. Anyone who knows your recovery phrase can steal your crypto assets. If you lose it, you must quickly transfer your crypto to a secure place. There is nothing that Ledger can do if someone else has your private key. Ledger will not be able to recover your lost funds. When I connect my Nano to the Ledger app, my private key is still offline or briefly connected to the internet. It is still offline. Congrats. Your private key always remains offline in your hardware wallet, even when connected to your Nano. The Ledger app cannot access your private key. You must physically authorize every transaction on your device. So the private key always stays on your wallet and Whenever you connect, all you are doing is pressing buttons to authorize a transaction. You're not actually sharing your private key. Already a pro, you are ready to safely manage your crypto. Only one quick step left. Next step. Genuine check. We'll verify whether your nano is genuine. This should be quick and easy. Here it's telling me to unlock my device and enter my PIN code. So on my device, it says allow Ledger Manager, which I'm going to confirm. All good, your Ledger Nano X is genuine and ready to use with Ledger Live. So continue. Add an account to start managing your crypto assets. You must have the app for your crypto assets installed on your device. So this is how to start setting up your wallets. So for example, as I'm in the NFT world and using Ethereum, I'm going to add an Ethereum account. Choose a crypto Ethereum and continue. So now it's just installing the application onto the wallet. Open the app Ethereum app on your device. So on my de device, open app Ethereum. Confirm, application is ready. It's now synchronizing on the Ledger Live. And it's asking for a name for it. So I'm adding a new account called Ethereum One. Account added successfully, add other accounts or return to your portfolio. I now have an Ethereum account in my Ledger. If I click on accounts, you can see here I have the Ethereum app and if I click on that I can buy and receive so I'd want to start receiving money into this account so one thing to remember please only send Ethereum or ERC20 tokens to an Ethereum account any other crypto assets may be lost so it's always important you send the right crypto to the right wallet if you don't because Crypto is a decentralized place. You can't go to a bank to try and recover your assets. Continue. This now shows my public address for Ethereum. So I can copy this over and go to my MetaMask or Coinbase or Binance account and transfer Ethereum using this public key. Now, it's safe to share this public key with anyone. It's the one you will use to receive any kind of funds you want. Um, just never give away your private key. You should also verify that this shared address exactly matches the one on your device. So you can click on your device 
um, verify address. So I'll just show you what that looks like right now. Here it's showing up as verify address. And if I click the right, it shows the address which matches the one on my computer. And I can approve to show that it matches. And as you can see on the computer, it has now verified. And all I select is done on the app now. So that's it guys, that is my ledger all set up for Ethereum. I haven't transferred anything over yet. I'm going to watch a couple of YouTube videos myself to learn how to securely transfer NFTs over as well. Um, I'm confident to do crypto, but when it comes to NFTs, I want to watch a couple of YouTube videos before I make the transfers. Once I do that, I will share with you my learnings as well. Please don't forget to like, comment and subscribe if you found this YouTube video useful.